So in all our years of van life, we have never needed a tow with the van, and I joke about that a lot. Day one with the new truck, and we're getting towed. Hi, welcome back. We're Kat and Dalton, and for the past three years, we've been living and traveling full time out of our self built Dodge Ram. The last van ride. The last van. The last van. But recently, we've made some big changes. We've taken a break from nomadic work and travel to build out and restore a new home for ourselves and our pup, Rory. A little over a month ago, we purchased this 1989 Ford E350 Chinook RV. We thought it was absolutely perfect and had everything we ultimately wanted. We jumped right into the renovation process to fully understand what we had going on and what was in store for us. We found a couple problems so far and are gonna take you along to figure out how to fix them. So sit back and relax as we take you on another couple days of this RV renovation process. When we picked up the truck, everything seemed to be going great. Honestly, everything felt a little bit too great. We even made jokes about the fact that it was perfect. We stopped for gas and then she would not start back up. We ended up getting a tow back and began the process of replacing the starter. Haven't even owned it for eight hours and the starter's out. And once we got the truck taken care of, it was time to jump right back into the RV. Hello, back again. So today we are finally getting that propane tank over there um, dismounted and off of the van so that we can really rip apart this subfloor and flooring and start to redo the structural integrity of the RV. It's bolted in from the floor, um, from the underside, so I'm going to hold the bolts in place while Dalton loosens them and grabs the pertaining tank so it doesn't just fall and crash onto the ground. Ready? As you can see, she's she's down and now she's a little bit stuck, so we're trying to get her out from under. Oh, oh it's oh. in the middle, middle. So now we're just trying to get everything else emptied out of here. We're trying to get the carpets out, the garbage out, excess wood, um, probably vacuum a couple more times, and then start to really remove the floor. So we obviously expected a bit of grodiness um, with it being a vintage RV that's older than both of us, but some of this is just really disgusting. Um, so we're glad we're tearing everything out and making sure that there's absolutely no mold and nothing in here that would be dangerous to breathe. So they have all this carpet that was under the plumbing originally, which just feels like a bad idea, but <laughs> maybe that changed in the later models. Nope, still has carpet. Under the plumbing? Yep. Watch this, guys. Oh, look at that. Worked hard. Make, sh make sure you remove the screws from the floor. So as you can see, that looks like the original, original carpet. Um, it, I think, originally was a shag, but through water damage and all sorts of other grody things. Definitely it's just a blue shag carpet. Brown and matted. This with, looks like... With matte under it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, this was added place. afterwards. It's like a place. second thought. Um, Dragon eggs. 
Pretty bad. <laughs> 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 there's lots of dragon eggs in there. After wrapping up, 
tearing out the rest of the framing around the refrigerator and the little closet that went behind the refrigerator, we dug deep into mechanical work. We really started to tear apart the engine and go through everything and replace all of the old rubber seals with new ones. So, we just got the radiator out. We're trying to do everything really systematic this time. With the van, we didn't end up doing things like the right way. We did things as they went. So this time when we're doing everything from scratch, we'll do it in the right order. Nice and empty right now. So we have a family thing in mid-August, so that is why our goal has been to be kind of ready to drive by then. So it's gonna be a lot of long nights, but hopefully, hopefully we make it. They're gonna pay off. They're gonna pay off. Long nights are helpful. And this is where we're going to leave you for the night. Make sure to subscribe and keep a lookout for the next video where we may or may not sell our beloved van and our very special guest finally arrives.